There was a time when the earth looked completely different. The continents we recognize today, Africa, South America, Europe, North America, weren't separated by vast oceans. They were clumped together into giant land masses. There was no Atlantic Ocean between them. In fact, for most of Earth's history the Atlantic Ocean didn't even exist. Scientists used to believe that this massive body of water formed somewhere between 83 to 113 million years ago. That's when South America and Africa started to drift apart, forming a gateway that would eventually become the equatorial Atlantic. But now, new research suggests that the Atlantic might be even older. Imagine this. You're standing on the coast of West Africa, looking out at the deep blue waters of the Atlantic. Beneath those waves, hidden nearly half a mile under the ocean floor, lies a geological mystery. For decades, geologists believed they had the full story of how the Atlantic formed. But recently, something unexpected was discovered. Something that could completely change our understanding of how the Earth evolved. A team of geologists from Harriet Watt University in the UK found strange, massive structures buried deep in the seabed off the coast of Guinea-Bissau. These weren't ordinary rock formations. They were made of mud and sand, but they weren't placed there slowly over time. These weren't gentle deposits left by lazy ocean currents. These were colossal waves of sediment, each one hundreds of feet high, moving with the force of nature we can barely imagine. To put it into perspective, each wave was over 300 feet high and nearly half a mile long. That's taller than a 25-story building and longer than eight football fields laid end to end. These weren't waves of water, but of mud and sand, moving like slow, powerful tsunamis beneath the earth. The presence of these ancient waves in such a specific location offers something extraordinary. A new timeline. According to the scientists, these waves weren't just random geological events. They were triggered by the exact moment when Africa and South America were tearing apart from each other, at the final pinch point where the continents split. That's where these waves formed, like nature's fingerprint left behind at the scene of a cosmic breakup. This pinch point is located just west of the Guinea Plateau in West Africa, a site that has now become a window into Earth's ancient past. It's here that the final connection between Africa and South America once existed. And it's here that we now find the proof that the Atlantic may be older than we ever imagined. Dr. U.S.D. Nicholson, a co-author of the study, explained just how significant this is. According to him, this entire field of sediment waves was created at once, in a very short period, by an intense release of energy caused by tectonic movement. Essentially, when the two continents finally pulled away from each other, it didn't just create empty space, it created geological chaos. The seafloor ripped open and waves of sediment began crashing beneath the surface, forming what we now recognize as a crucial piece of evidence. It's like the earth shuddered violently, and in that moment, it left behind clues buried beneath layers of sand. These discoveries were made possible thanks to advanced seismic reflection imaging technology. This is a powerful method where geologists send sound waves deep into the earth and record the echoes that bounce back. By analyzing these echoes, they can create detailed images of what lies beneath the surface, sort of like doing an ultrasound of the planet. When researchers applied this technology off the coast of Guinea-Bissau, they didn't expect to find what they did. Instead of typical sediment layers, they found enormous, chaotic patterns that looked like waves frozen in time. These waves, created four million years earlier than expected, tell a story of violent separation and transformation. What's truly amazing is the scale and preservation of these waves. Usually, such sediment structures are disturbed by underwater currents, tectonic shifts, or erosion over millions of years. But these particular waves remained untouched, preserved under layers of newer sediments. They were essentially sealed in a time capsule, giving us a pristine glimpse into a geological moment that reshaped our planet. And it's not just the timing that's significant, it's what this tells us about the speed and force of plate tectonics. These events didn't unfold slowly over millions of years like previously believed. In some places, the Earth moved fast, violently fast. The findings from Harriet Watt University now challenge our traditional understanding of continental drift. For decades, geologists believed that continents moved apart slowly, gradually stretching the Earth's crust and letting the oceans fill in the gaps. But the discovery of these sediment waves suggests that some parts of the Earth's crust didn't just stretch, they snapped. And when they did, the energy release caused immediate and massive geological shifts. This new timeline pushes the origin of the Atlantic Ocean back by at least 4 million years. That might not sound like much in the context of geological time, but it's a huge deal when you're rewriting Earth's history. This also changes how we look at the birth of oceans. Most textbooks present the creation of the Atlantic as a gradual, passive rift. 
something that just kind of happened over time. But this new evidence suggests it was anything but passive. It was violent, sudden, and transformative. Entire landscapes were reshaped in moments, and the scars from that event are still buried beneath the ocean floor. This isn't just a story about when the Atlantic Ocean formed. It's a story about how dramatic Earth's changes can be, and how many more such secrets may still be hidden under miles of rock and water. The location of this discovery, just 250 miles off the coast of Guinea-Bissau, isn't random. This area is one of the few places on Earth where the geological evidence of early ocean formation is still accessible. In most places, the older ocean floor has either been subducted into the Earth's mantle or buried under so many layers of sediment that it's nearly impossible to reach. But here the geology is unique. The seabed has preserved a rare window into the past, offering scientists the chance to observe what they've only theorized until now. That's what makes this find so exciting and important. Guinea-Bissau might not be a well-known country on the global stage, but its waters now hold clues to one of the most significant tectonic events in Earth's history. The separation of South America and Africa was one of the defining moments in the reshaping of the planet's continents. When these two massive landmasses finally tore apart, it wasn't just a physical divide, it was a global shift. Oceans began to form. Currents changed. Climates adjusted. Ecosystems evolved in response. And the Atlantic Ocean, now spanning over 41 million square miles, was born from that single, cataclysmic event. To think that we now have physical evidence that this happened earlier than expected changes everything. It suggests that tectonic forces were more dynamic and perhaps even more volatile than previously imagined. That's something scientists will need to reconsider in future models. It might even affect how we think about the future of tectonics. If continents can tear apart that violently, what does that mean for the areas of the world where rifting is still occurring today? Could we see similar events unfold again in places like East Africa, where a new ocean might be forming beneath the continent? But let's return to the waves themselves. These aren't the kind of waves you see at the beach. These are massive geological structures. Imprints of events that happen beneath the Earth's crust. Each one tells a story of momentum and pressure, of materials moving through an open wound in the planet. They're made of what's known as turbidites a type of sediment that's usually formed by underwater landslides or rapid sediment flows. But in this case they weren't formed by landslides. They were caused by the sudden opening of the ocean floor, creating space that was immediately filled by fast-moving sediment slurries. That's why the waves are so well preserved. They were deposited all at once, in what's called a single depositional event. That means the energy required to move all that mud and sand came in a single powerful burst, not over thousands of years but likely in just a few days or even hours. Imagine the scale of such an event. A planet reshaping itself. Continents pulling apart with such force that the Earth's own insides were exposed and rearranged. The waves left behind aren't just geological features. They're the fingerprint of that trauma, frozen in stone for us to read today. What's even more fascinating is that the timing of this discovery fits perfectly with other shifts happening around the planet during the same period. Around 117 million years ago, the world was going through dramatic changes. Sea levels were rising. New species were evolving rapidly. Massive volcanic eruptions were reshaping the air and oceans. And right in the middle of it all, South America and Africa were in the process of pulling away from each other. Now, thanks to this sediment wave discovery, we know that this final rupture might have happened 4 million years earlier than we believed. That matters more than it might seem. Because understanding the exact timeline helps scientists build accurate models of Earth's climate, ocean currents, and even biological evolution. The formation of the Atlantic Ocean wasn't just a local event, it changed everything. It rerouted ocean currents, which altered the planet's heat distribution. That, in turn, affected rainfall patterns, plant growth, and animal migrations. It even influenced the evolution of early marine life. Knowing that the Atlantic began forming earlier changes all of those models. It means all the chain reactions we thought followed the split may have begun sooner. That small 4 million year shift in timing creates a huge domino effect. It's discoveries like this that show how much we still don't know about our own planet. Even with satellites orbiting Earth, deep sea robots scanning the ocean floor and computer simulations predicting tectonic movements, we're still constantly surprised. The Earth is more complex, more dramatic and more mysterious than we often give it credit for. Beneath the calm surface of the Atlantic Ocean lies a battlefield, a place where continents tore apart and nature unleashed its raw, unstoppable power. And it took millions of years for us to finally find the evidence left behind in the silence of the deep sea. And think about the irony. 
while we've spent so much time looking outward, towards Mars, the Moon and the farthest galaxies, it turns out some of the greatest mysteries are still hiding right beneath our feet. Or in this case, beneath thousands of feet of ocean water and ancient sediment. This discovery is a reminder to keep looking down and within, not just up and out. The story of Earth isn't finished. It's still unfolding and we're only beginning to understand just how dramatic that story really is. The birth of the Atlantic Ocean is just one chapter, but what a chapter it is. This also opens the door to new kinds of exploration. If structures like these sediment waves can be found off the coast of West Africa, where else might they exist? Could similar wave fields be hiding in other parts of the ocean, preserved in other pinch points of ancient continental rifting? Could they help us uncover more about how continents have moved over time? Geologists are now more motivated than ever to revisit old assumptions. They're planning new expeditions, using even more sensitive seismic technology, to scan other regions that might hold similar ancient clues. And beyond the science, there's something profoundly human about this discovery. We've always been curious about where we come from, how Earth became what it is today. These sediment waves might seem like just rock formations to some, but to scientists and explorers, they're like pages of an ancient book. They're the hidden lines of Earth's autobiography, slowly being uncovered one discovery at a time. And every new page we find brings us closer to understanding the full story, not just of our planet's past but possibly even its future.